All right, coming up next should be a good one at 185 pounds between Yoel Romero and the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. in some body shots. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. Oh, nice jab. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Nice one, two there. Oh, left hook to the head is blocked. Planted and fired there. Landed to the body. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press this. He's got to go take that finish down now. Beautiful kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. to avoid the counterattack coming back. It's the head move. It's the athleticism of your Romero that allows him to be standing there flat-footed and just get out of the way whenever you try to hit him. He's always been a phenomenal athlete, and he continues to be that even as he's aged. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Checks the leg kick. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to. All right, round two forthcoming here. Yoel Romero versus the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing so fast and so crisp. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Adesanya's strike attempt there is blocked. Overhand lands blocked. And he continues to work the body here. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Get my head. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. I'm not sure if that's. 
that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally... <laughs> Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. In those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That was a lead elbow. So he's mixing everything up. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice shot by Romero there on the feet, not only sticking but moving to avoid the counterattack coming back. It's the head move. It's the athleticism of your Romero that allows him to be standing there flat for him and just get out of the way. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Dig and kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, hook to the head by Romero. Oh, nice. Way to hide that leg kick. And he oh, comes nice through with a big knee. Cable of inches right there, yeah. boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, nice jab. Able to check the high kick. Beautiful body kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big body kick lands under the elbow. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Oh, misses with the jab. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on your feet right now. Got him. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike. Ready? Ready? Fight! 
All right, here we go with round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, pinpoint. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Romero's kick to the body is blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down to size. Oh, there is he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to put very bad on his head. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And they separate. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice kick. Oh, no wasted motion there. Romero loads up on the right. Man, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to 